Hey, GSYM fam, so glad to have you back here at Faith Builders. And our Faith Builders, what it is, is uh, where we have a devotion with you every Monday and Friday at 7 o'clock. So if this is your first time tuning in, we want you to go back and look at the previous ones. Pastor Davis has spoken amazing word on untouchable. So go back and study up on them. And I'm just going to continue with what Pastor David has been teaching, untouchable. And I just want to point out two, two points for you. And number one is this, you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. You are a citizen of the kingdom of God. 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10 says this. It says, you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show the goodness of God towards others, for he has called you out from darkness into his wonderful light. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received mercy, now you have received God's mercy. And so one thing that you got to say right now, I'm, I'm chosen. Say that right now, I'm chosen. Because you got to continue to understand your identity on this earth. See, you were chosen as God's holy people to display God's goodness on this earth. So right now, I just want you to understand, write this down if you're taking notes. When we receive Jesus into our hearts, we are fully protected by the anointing. So no matter what comes against us, no matter what the enemy tries to attack us with, we're well able to overcome because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, it says this, for we walk by faith and not by sight. So no matter what you're dealing with right now, that you can understand that as you go to the word of God and as you continue to study what God has said about the situation you're going through and you believe God at his word, the, the, the circumstances that you might be faced are going to change because God's word is truth and it never lies. See, the Bible says that uh, every man might be a liar, but God is truth. But I like what it says in 2 Corinthians 5 in the passage translation. It says, for we live by faith. Not by what we see with our eyes. See, when you receive Jesus into your life, you were making and taking a step of faith. You, were, uh, uh, you received him into your heart by believing. So faith is believing in the things unseen. And the Bible says that we live by faith and not by sight. And so you understanding that you are a citizen of God's kingdom here on earth, the Bible says in John 17, 15, and 16, I pray that you should not take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil, for they are not of the world, even as I am not of this world. This is what Jesus has said. He says, they are not of this world. So you got to understand that even though you're in this world, you're not of this world. You're a citizen of God. And that what that means that you have a kingdom advantage at your disposal. Everything that has been placed for you and for your benefit, what God has predestined before you were even born, is for your benefit. So you got to get into the word, study what the word has to say about you, and just live at everything that God has placed for you. And so point number two is this. And this is one that a lot of times people try to switch up, but it's, it's, it's real simple. Understanding this right here, God is for you. I want you to take that in because a lot of times we get told by, by our, our relatives, we might be, be told by other people that, oh, you see, that's what God did to you. See, you shouldn't have did that. That's why God's punishing you. See, no, God is not a God that punishes, but the Bible says that he's a, 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 a father that gives perfect and good gifts. But I want, I want to read, it's a very firm, famous verse, it's Jeremiah 29, 11, and it says this. It says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. See, God's plans for you are to be prosperous. God's plans for you is to not walk in sickness. God's plans for you is to be well off. See, you don't have to remain sick if you you might be having a little cough. You got to understand that that is not God's plan for you. But the Bible says that Jesus on the cross took our sicknesses, our burdens, our iniquities so that we could walk in full health. And so you just got to take what God has said. See, I wrote this down. Don't allow what you see or hear to determine what the truth is. See, God's word is truth. And, and see, the, a lot of times what we get mistaken is that the enemy tries to do things to blame God. And, and, and as I was studying and I was thinking about it, I remember in, uh, in high school, right, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all kids still do it, but I remember in high school I would get a piece of paper and throw it at a girl I liked. And just to get her attention, I would throw it at her just to get her attention. But as soon as she would look, I would blame it on my friend that was sitting next to me. 
Now, see, this is a lot of times what the enemy does when he throws something bad, when he tries to get you to say, oh, no, look, that's what God did. God did that to you. It wasn't me. But you got to understand that God is the good God, and everything that he has, we just read in his verse, it says to give you a hope and a future. In a different translation, it says to prosper you. And so we right now got to understand in James 1, verse 7, and this is it right here. It says, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heaven, heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting, shifting shadows. So I just want to share this real quick. It says, God is always looking for a way to bless you. Understand that. God is always looking for a way to increase you. But you got to understand that the enemy is going to try to throw attacks at you to try to get you to blame God so that you could turn your back on God and, and, and not uh, see and experience his blessings that he has in store for you. And so allow the word of God to be your truth, to see the miracles and the blessings that he has in store for you. And so I just want to tell you thank you so much for joining us with Faith Builders. And until next time, we'll see you.